Welcome to the very first episode of Local Sips with Local Legends. I'm your host, Tina Cohen O'Brien, and today we are interviewing one of my favorite Olympic athletes, Caroline Marks. Not only is this her second Olympic Games, but also she is the 2023 World Surfing Champion. Now, if I had to explain Caroline Marks' personality, I would say sweet and kind, but also with that competitive spice, if you know what I mean. Which reminds me, let's go ahead and start off with creating a Caroline Marks inspired cocktail. Voila, the Caroline Marks inspired locals only vodka cocktail, one of its kind created by yours truly. Now we're officially ready to get on chat with Caroline. Let's get going. Hey, hey Caroline, thanks for taking the time to chat with me. Thanks for having me. Hey, okay, so I am so excited to talk to you today because we're actually such good friends. So I've just been like looking forward to this. Awesome, yeah, me too, it should be fun. <laughs> First off, congratulations. You are two for two at the Olympics. Surfing has only been the Olympics for two years now and you're two for two, that's pretty insane. Oh, thank you, yeah, it's crazy. I'm I'm definitely stoked to be back. It was a huge goal of mine this year to make it. And, um, you know, the first one at Tokyo was such a amazing experience, but, um, you know, obviously with COVID and stuff, we weren't able to have like family or friends. And so, totally. um, I'm just like really stoked to make it because now my family can come watch me and, um, that's just such a special thing. And it feels like everyone kind of won in this situation, which is really cool. So, yeah. I feel like just being an Olympic athlete, is just accomplishment in itself. Thank I love you. It. Yeah. I feel like um, like an Olympian, something that I guess it's like a forever kind of thing. You can be like, yeah, forever. Like I can look back and um, tell my friends and family, whatever, like, yeah, I've been to the Olympics, which is kind of a, definitely was a huge goal of mine. And um, obviously it's new to surfing. And so um, the fact that I was able to be a part of it twice is is really cool. So, yeah. Since we're on the topic of the Olympics, I have to ask, did you ever expect to be an Olympic athlete? And how do you train for something like the Olympics? Yeah, it's interesting because I think like when I first started surfing, I never really thought of the Olympics. Like obviously the Olympics is such a massive thing, but I didn't really grow up watching the Olympics too much because surfing wasn't a part of it. And surfing was like my whole life and just my biggest focus. And so I remember the moment when I heard it was a part of the Olympics and um, I saw like a Instagram post and I was with my whole family and it was crazy because I was going into my second year on tour and I was like wow that's crazy I'm gonna have the opportunity but I also wasn't expecting much because I was like hey it's only my second year on tour like there's a lot of really good girls and um as you know like to make the American team um for surfing is for the women is very very difficult and very competitive so um you know you have all the best girls from Hawaii and obviously um all the Californians and so it's just yeah it's really competitive but yeah I, I didn't really think of it too much until it happened and now I can't really imagine um surfing not being the Olympics I think it's just so deserving and it's really cool so um yeah it's pretty amazing I mean keep it a trend you're just going every year every time anyway every four years right yeah I hope so I mean this one came up faster too because last one was delayed a little bit with the pandemic yeah. and yeah um but yeah I mean as many as I can be in in my career would be incredible so to to be two for two is is awesome but I definitely like want to obviously I'm focused on this one this year's Olympics right now but looking ahead I would love to be in more and I know the next one's in LA which is to do it at home would just be the biggest dream ever so we'll see what happens what are you most looking forward to when surfing in the Olympics um what I'm looking forward to the most I'd say just representing my country and having my family there this time is going to be really special I guess no matter how I do or if I never do go to the Olympics again like they can say forever like they watched their kid in the Olympics so I'm really grateful that they're able to be there this time because last time they weren't able to and so um that's what I'm looking forward to the most just yeah representing my country being with the team um Chris is on the team again and uh John so two of the same people that I was with last time and um Griffin and Katie this year so I think we all get along and it's just a really cool like we have such a great team and our coaches and it's just such a fun vibe so um surfing is a very individual sport and I'm excited to have a little bit of a team vibe it's it's cool since it's your second time how do you feel like mentally and like physically going into it but like more so like where's your mind at like going into it like I feel like this is such a 
hard thing to mentally prepare for. Yeah, it's crazy. You know, I think um, the thing about the Olympics, it's every four years. So um, it's obviously like it's something that you really want to um, you really want to peak at the right time because then you got to wait another four years and you never know what the future holds or what could happen. And so I, I kind of, um, I guess mentally, I feel really good. Physically, I feel really good. Obviously we're competing really busy on the WSL tour. And, yeah. um, but my mind feels um, really good this year. I feel like after winning the title last year, I have a lot of confidence this year and just have a really good support crew. And um, I'm really confident in my program this year. And I think that just gives me a lot of confidence in the water. So, um, and like I said, just having my family there this time, uh, I really thrive off that environment, having people there for me, like no matter how I do, they're there for me and they love me no matter what. And that just gives me a lot of confidence. So, um, yeah. I love that. The grind definitely doesn't stop for you. Um, (laughs) Like touching to that last topic, how many people are in your crew? Um, I have a pretty big, I mean, I have a big family, as you know, um, (laughs) and, uh, I have one of six. So there's eight of us total counting my parents and myself. And then, you know, obviously with trainers and coaches and friends, I kind of, um, I wouldn't say I like travel with that big of a crew. I have a pretty like small crew I travel with, but when I come home, I have a big support crew or one of the events at home, like whenever I make the finals, it's, it's a pretty big crew, but um yeah a lot of times I just travel with my coach or a friend or a family member but um I do have a big support crew at home and just even as simple as like a FaceTime or a text or whatever like you really feel the support from wherever you are but yeah I I roll pretty deep for sure I feel like you do especially roll deep because you're not only from Florida but also California and you travel so much totally yeah I definitely have like I feel like obviously from Florida and um, that's my hometown, but kind of got adopted to San Clemente as well. So I kind of have like two different families. And then when you travel, you meet so many cool people. So having friends around the world and I know you travel a lot yourself, so you kind of understand that, but yeah, it's fun to have friends all around the world. Totally. Since you're a local in so many different places, how do you live like a local when you're on a big stage representing us all like at the Olympics? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I kind of just, I guess I kind of look for the locals there. Like when I go to Tahiti, I guess I kind of look at the locals there and see where they're sitting and just trying to be respectful and nice and see what waves they take. And eventually you'll be in the right rotation and you'll get one. Um, But yeah, I just think having that respect and just having good, um, yeah, good respect in the water really, really um, it helps people want, want you to come back and, you know, make them more inviting and welcoming. So I just know if someone came to my local break, I'd want them to be kind of respectful, kind of know it's your wave and stuff. But Tahiti is definitely a place where, um, you know, obviously it's um, Chopu such an intense wave. You want to make sure you're respectful to everyone. And then hopefully eventually you'll be in the right rotation. But um everyone's been really nice and cool so I'm looking forward to going back love that okay so rapid fire questions here we go all right let's do it (laughs) okay favorite local wave uh lower trestles favorite local grub active culture favorite local fun fact oof um fun facts uh that's a good question (laughs) I never really (laughs) thought of that well this is it's weird because I guess like I don't know if I can like do Florida and San Clemente. I have a statue in Florida. That's kind of like a fun you fact. Really? Not many people know that. So it's kind of cool, but that's legendary. Yeah. It's crazy. I'm like, I don't know. So anyway, yeah, it's a cool. That's a good fun fact. I like that. <laughs> Favorite local surfer other than yourself. Local surfer. Um, probably, probably like Griffin, Cal Pinto or Clohand, you know? Okay. And then <laughs> that's San Clemente. I feel like I got to do Florida. I mean, favorite yeah, do a Florida surfer. one too. Throw it in there. Yeah. Favorite local surfer from Florida. Definitely Kelly Slater and Lisa Anderson. Now these are kind of left field, but I got to do a few classics okay. like celebrity crush. I mean, I feel like this is so like basic, but you're going to say Hemsworth. Hemsworth aren't you? Wait, Liam. I mean, yeah, Liam Hemsworth is gorgeous. I felt like you're going to say Hemsworth when you're like, it's basic. <laughs> <laughs> no I don't know I haven't I'm trying to think celebrity crush I feel like I have to have to think I definitely have one but I'd have to like think about it um I don't know Justin I, Bieber has always been like he's it's really hard to kind of go past him I feel like he's just like everyone's crush a little bit but yeah we'll, we'll stick with Justin Bieber okay <laughs> okay um what is yours pa- what's oh. your celebrity crush lol my my celebrity crush is Zane like Malik Oh, okay. I mean, he's gorgeous, so it makes sense. But it's, like, so <laughs> random, I feel like. Yeah, that is random, because he's got, like, he doesn't look like Jamie in the mud. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Girl. He's got like dark hair and like, I definitely have others, but like off the top of my head, I'm like, okay, Justin Bieber. I haven't really thought. We'll just go with that. It's a good yeah. one. I mean, can't I can't argue like with that no one. one's mad about that answer. <laughs> no one's mad about it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What is your pet peeve? My pet peeve, um, uh, probably like, uh, sheesh. I think. How, could, how does it not come to your head immediately? Like my, I don't like so immediate. What's your pet peeve? Anyone chewing loud. I hate it. Okay. See, I don't, I wouldn't say I like have a crazy pet peeve. I like, there's things I don't like love, but also I'm not like pet peeve. I don't know. Like there's nothing that you're like, if I'm dating a guy and that guy did this, it's like, no, not really. I, I like, yeah, not, I'm not like, I don't know. Nothing's really coming to mind. I don't love like when you're like eating and something like kind of like the fork like goes on the plate. That's not oh, really a yeah. pet peeve. It definitely is. It's like the chalkboard sound, right? Yeah. I don't love that. I'm trying to think, I don't know. I guess like maybe like I don't know I could say like bad manners but it's also like well maybe you weren't raised like I don't know it's I don't really have it <laughs> okay maybe we'll skip that one I don't all right know. we'll skip it <laughs> okay <laughs> are you a Swifty a Swifty it's funny I didn't really like grow up listening to Taylor Swift that much but I am a really big fan of her I think she's like um such a badass and super smart and very talented so yes I am <laughs> if you had one superpower one superpower probably teleportation song you have on repeat right now I love the song NDA by Billie Eilish it's so okay. good three things you can't live without three things I can't live without um my surfboard my phone and my passport so i think that's all the questions i have for you oh. there's one thing i do need to admit um before we start this interview i made myself a cocktail inspired by you wow um <laughs> I, <laughs> so it, looks it, has, it actually is so fire i did not expect it to be because i like don't know how to make drinks but yeah it's so good. i basically took um parts of your personality and like I don't oh. know, mash it together. So I was like, okay, she's really sweet. She's genuine. <laughs> she's kind. So lemonade, oh. like that's wholesome, sweet, fun. And Love then it. like, but she's competitive and like has that side of her. So a little spice. So there's jalapenos in here. Oh, um, wow. And it's actually so good. And of course, locals only vodka. So yeah. I love it. So good. It looks great. So cheers. I don't have any to cheers, but cheers. <laughs> this is your signature drink that I made for you. I love it. <laughs> That's here. so cool. Thank you so much for talking to me. And I'm so excited to watch you on the Olympics and cheer you on. For me, I'm a little selfish. So it's like to be able to cheer on my friend is absolutely the best part of the Olympics now. So thanks for being there. Thanks for representing us. And I'm so excited. Cheers. Cheers. Whoa, this is actually so good. I did not expect that. Now only if I could remember the recipe. Wow, I'm impressed. Maybe I should be a bartender. Yeah. It's like dumb. It's like, I know how to unicycle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool though. I don't have any like secret weird talent. I'm just like strictly surfing. I mean, I guess, I guess I grew up like riding barrel racing and not like riding horses, which not a lot of people oh, like whoa. do that. Yeah, it's super different. Cause it's like all like dry land sport I guess and then I went straight to just like water sports but yeah that's so random I love it I feel like that was okay right that was great you killed it was that your first like interview yeah that you killed it I thought that was so good